problem 2x squared plus 13 minus 24 equals y. This is an AC method problem. I have to hold the microphone so it picks up my sound. It's an AC method problem, which means the first thing I have to do is multiply the A term and the C term. 2 times negative 24 is negative 48. That means instead of the traditional looking for numbers that multiply to negative 24, I'm looking for numbers that multiply to negative 48 and still combine to give me the B term. What we found worked was positive 16 and negative 3. Positive 16 and negative 3 multiply to give me negative 48 and they combine 16 minus 3 gives me positive 13. Now the next thing with the AC method is I need to put the A term and the X in to each set of parentheses. Now I look at the parentheses and if either of them can be simplified, I simplify them. So 2x plus 16 needs to be, can be simplified. They're both divisible by 2 and I get x plus 8. And here I get 2x minus 3. That's the factored form. To get my x-intercepts, I have to set these each equal to 0. That means x plus 8 equals 0. I subtract 8 from both sides and x equals negative 8. But my x-intercept there is negative 8 comma 0. For my y-intercept, sorry, sorry, for my other x-intercept, 2x minus 3 equals 0. I add 3 to both sides. I get 2x equals 3. I divide both sides by 2. I get 3 over 2 or 1.5. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 and that's 1.5 comma 0. I had many students who once they got the factored form could give me this x-intercept. They could not give me this one. Okay, then for the y-intercepts, the y-intercept is the number by itself. It's negative 24. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 24. Everybody should have been able to do that. Everybody should have been able to give the y-intercept on every question and get a 20%. Now I need to be able to do the vertex. The vertex is a formula. It's negative B over 2A. So the first thing on the Ed puzzle that I want you to do is you're going to actually type in what you got as the axis of symmetry. Even if it's, I didn't know how to do it, I just guessed, you're going to put in what you got. What you should have gotten is negative 13 over 4. The opposite of B, so if B is 13, the opposite of B is, the opposite of 13 is negative 13. 2 times A, and A is 2, so that's negative 13 over 4. So you either would have had an axis of symmetry of negative 13 over 4, or you could have put it into the calculator, and you would get negative 3.25. It's a line. It's not an ordered pair. I said repeatedly, this was a line. So I want in why your axis of symmetry is wrong. What you had, you already typed in. What you should have gotten was negative 3.25. Not negative 3.250, it's not a point, it's a line. So you're typing in and explaining why you had the axis of symmetry wrong. You're fixing your work. 
then to do the vertex. And I'm going to do it up here. The vertex is the axis of symmetry plugged in. So you're going to do 2 times negative 3.25 squared plus, there should have been an x here, 13 times negative 3.25 minus 24. Again, I've been saying in class to use your calculator. So first, you're going to type into the Ed Puzzle what you got as your vertex. Now we're going to go through what you should have gotten, and you're going to have a chance to write about, type about why you got it wrong. 3.25 squared, so negative 3.25 squared is 10.5625, multiply that by 2. And here you should add 21.125. Okay? I want to double check that. 3.25 times 3.25 times 2. That is correct. Now, 13 times negative 3.25. I don't really like doing signs in my calculator. I know that 13 and a negative is going to be a negative. So 13 times 3.25 is negative 42.25 minus 24. And 21.125 minus 42.25 minus 24 is negative 45.125, but that means the vertex is two numbers. Remember, your x value of the vertex was what you had for an axis of symmetry. And the y value was negative 45.125. So that's your total answer for the vertex. Negative 3.25 comma negative 45.125. So now in Edpuzzle, you would be typing in what you did, why you got it wrong. Either you didn't know how to do it. You put for your vertex 0, negative 45.125, or you made a math error. But making a math error, you don't just get to say, I made a math error. I want to know specifically what math error you made. Like you messed up a sign. Or instead of squaring something, you multiplied by 2. That's how you learn how to do it correctly.